Hi, I'm Maggie Richardson, and for my vlog, I decided to focus on the effects of social media on our mental health. Um, I recently read an article. It is called Six Ways Social Media Affects Our Mental Health. It is by Alice G. Walton, and it's on Forbes magazine. So she talks about how social media is addictive. Um, that's the first thing I'm going to focus on because I can definitely say I'm addicted to my phone, I'm addicted to Snapchat and keeping in, in touch with my friends. Um, it's something that's become so familiar to me that um, it's just an everyday thing that I do. Um, my phone's always with me. Um, it's like separation anxiety. I can't leave my dorm without my phone. If I leave without my phone, I'll go back for it. Um, I, it's probably really bad, but uh, I've just become so so used to having it with me that it just feels weird to be without it. The other thing she talks about in this article is how social media triggers more sadness and less well-being. Um, so I'm going to talk about that for a little bit. Um, she says the more use of social media, the less happy we seem to be. I think the reason she says this is because we're so on our phone and we're so into what we're, um, which, what, what we should post, what other people are posting. And so it becomes something that makes us feel less because we want to be, we want to meet expectations of social media and of other people. Um, we want to be good enough for what we're putting on social media. We don't want to be bullied for it. Um, that can also lead to feeling more sad um, due to showing up at school and being bullied for what's on your social media, what's on your Instagram or your Facebook or your Snapchat. Um, so that definitely um, is something that comes with having a phone, is definitely feeling less as a less well-being. Um, the other thing she talks about is comparing our lives with others is mentally very unhealthy. I kind of touched on this a little bit, um, but comparing yourself to others on social media is definitely not something that anyone should be doing. Um, I don't think that was the intention of Instagram or of Snapchat. It was to share your moments, share your fun, um, talk to friends, but instead it's become something that um, is making us face um, less self-confidence and less um, less feeling good about ourselves. So that can be um, very unhealthy for, definitely for um, everyone who has a phone, just because you're so worried about others and um, you need to worry about yourself too, to be healthy. So the other thing is, we get caught in the delusion of thinking it'll help with um, finding friends or finding um, new people to talk to, which I I disagree with this because I feel like social media definitely helps um, create friends, create relationships. Um, so I'm, I'm I don't I disagree with this article at this point because um, I definitely feel like social media has a positive impact too. Um, I don't think it. Um, it, we're getting caught in the delusion of thinking that social media is going to help us with like depression or anything. I think it's just something that we all want to just be able to have and be able to talk to people on. Um, another thing she talks about is more friends on social media doesn't mean you're more social. I definitely agree with this because I know tons of people who have so many Instagram followers or so many Facebook friends or... Um, that kind of thing and in person they're quiet or um, they don't have anything to say to you um, not over a phone which is another huge impact of social media because so many people are being able to talk over a phone which is something easy and something that mostly all of us can do but when in person they don't know how to react they don't know how to um, get a feel for how we're feeling because they're so on their phone they're so into that and so um I definitely agree with this. More friends on social media doesn't mean you're more social because um, it's totally different in person. So overall, I can say that social media does have a major impact on um, kids and teenagers and adults just because 
Um, it makes you compare yourself to others. It, it can bring depression or it can bring happiness too. Um, I feel like I'm mainly focusing on the bad parts of social media, but there are a lot of good parts like meeting new people, talking with your friends, um, sending things to, sending tweets or sending Snapchats to your friends. Um, so yeah, there are a lot of positives that come with social media and that come with um, talking to people and creating relationships. However, I do think we need to make, um, we need to sort of take it away from kids that are so young just because they need to focus on who they are at so little instead of um, comparing themselves to other people. Um, I just think that social media shouldn't be introduced until way later on. Um, but I do feel like it has a positive effect on you once you're at the right age to feel confident in yourself and not feel like you have to compare yourself to other people on it. And you can feel like you can post things without being judged or without feeling like you're gonna be bullied for that. But however, social media can cause all those things. So um, there's definitely both sides to it. And there are both sides to um, feeling like you should download and get all these Snapchat, Instagram, um, it can be positive and negative. So that is my reaction to this Forbes article on um, the mental health of the way social media affects us. Thank you.